think I'm crazy, but I know they would be too. Looking at you, wrapped up in a smile. My heart skips a beat, my head in the clouds. Every time you say my name aloud, you hold me in close, much closer than most. I'll stay here a while. A zine. <clears throat> Excuse me. A zine is a self-published mini um, book or flyer that people um, put together themselves and what they call self-publishing, which means that they would take them and make copies of them. So people make these. Um, sometimes they're for a cause, like um, cleaning the oceans. That's a good cause and they would design their zine. Um, let me show you real quick what a zine looks like. This one is the one I'm starting. This one is um, online teaching ideas. Imagine that. So basically it just, it's like a little mini book. So it opens. You can open it again. Oh, next page and the end. Um, the cool thing about these, you can use these as little mini sketchbooks, which I figured that's what we will use them for. Um, I'm going to be putting ideas for assignments for you in my little book um, to kind of keep a guide of what we've learned online. Yours can be whatever you choose. It could be new things that you've learned. It could be um, something that you're interested in getting better at drawing. Um, so make these unique to you. Oh, and another cool thing you could do is if you read a book that you really loved, you could do your own little story along with the book. Very cool. So all you need is one piece of paper and a pencil and scissors. Making a zine. I don't know if you can see that because the screen is awfully bright. It says zines are self-published, small, print-run books. They are often photocopied or distributed. They can tell a story, inform about an issue, or just look cool. What will your zine be about? Some ideas. Um, you could do a book about what you want to be when you grow up and what that would look like. So if you wanted to be a veterinarian, you could do um, a page that had a dog or a cat or um, maybe even a horse. Maybe you want to do big animals. So then the next page you could do something like um, what happens when you go to the veterinarian. The vet has their little stethoscope. They might listen to their heart. Who knows? I don't know. Um, something that you care a lot about. Um, let's say you really love cats. You could do a book about cats or make up a whole story, your own story about cats. That would be cool. Um, so let's get started. Now, some of this can be a little bit confusing. So, let me show you what we're gonna do. All right, all you need is one sheet of paper. It could be notebook paper, it could be just a um, construction paper, if that's all you have. First, you're going to fold your paper Hamburger, I think that's what we call it, hamburger. So we're gonna make a fold in the center. Remember, and I've told you guys before, match up your corners, hold it tight in the center, bring your fingers, slide, pinch, 
slide and slide. That'll make a nice crease so that you don't have to worry about um, your fold being perfect. It'll keep it pretty close to perfect. Okay, next I'm going to open it back up. Now we have this nice crease down the middle. You want to take your sides, match it to the center fold, fold it in the middle, make a crease, and press down. <laughs> My pup has a few things to say about that. Okay, so then I'm going to take the other side and do the exact same thing. So I'm bringing it to the center. Crease, crease, crease. Okay, look at that. So now you're gonna open it back up. I should have four rectangles. One, two, three, four. I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to fold it in half. Get those corners. I know it's hard. Very hard. And then crease and crease. Okay, so now now I am going to fold it back hamburger in the middle. So remember, this is hot dog and this is hamburger. See the difference? So let's fold hamburger. <coughs> okay, so now on the fold, remember this is the fold, this is the opening. On the fold, now's where I need my scissors. Mine are a little bit extreme for this project, but that's all I have here. Okay. So you have a hamburger. See this line here? You're gonna cut down the center and stop at that line. Okay, make sure you're on the fold. Okay, so I did that. See that, I stopped at the line, I cut down the center and stopped. So now when you open this up, <clears throat> I want you to use your pencil because it starts to get confusing when you fold it if you don't know um, what the pieces look like. I'm just doing this in pen so you can see it. One, two, three, four, flip, across from four is five, six, you only want to do six. And then I put on mine a little bitty B for back and a little F for front. So here's our back and here is our front of our book or our sign. Okay. <clears throat> now you have this should look like this. You will fold it in half, hot dog. Now push it together very gently. See how that center is making this little diamond? Hold it so that it um, comes together like a star kind of. 
and then we have our back and our front. So that's how we know how we're going to fold this. Now see how it's crinkling a little bit? I'm just going to refold some of the folds that were already there and just kind of flatten it out. And that's why I labeled the front and the back so I know which um, piece to fold over. So see, here's my back, here's the front, and I'm just gonna crease this book so that it stays folded just the way it is. Okay, so now I have a cover. I have page one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then the back. So you guys have fun with this. Um, make some interesting um, books, and um, if you would like to share yours, if you would, send it to me. Send a picture or a video. Um, send it to my email address, and then I will put it on our weekly art class. How about that? Does that sound like fun? I think so. That way you guys can kind of see what each other are doing. And I would love to see what you guys have been working on. So I will also share mine as I start working on it with you as well. I hope everybody is doing well. Stay safe. Be good. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.